Hi. Um <laughs> Hi. Um welcome or welcome back to my channel. You new here. I go by Jay. It's Jupiter Makes and I like to crochet plushies and I go to markets full time. And if you are returning back, hi. Thank you for being loyal. I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate my nails real quick. Ignore this one because I got to hold it, hold the yarn somehow. Anyways, it's been a while. That's, that's really it. I just been market prepping like a crazy mad woman because I always do market prep like last minute as always. Um, and for this one, I went to school for the first time um this was in april 30th so like like last sunday um i believe it's from 10 to 4 and you're gonna see clips of me market prepping up to that day i didn't really record much during the day because i used my phone for the transactions i swear i updated my inventory but I didn't. I normally don't do it till that event. But for some reason, I thought I did it beforehand. And I didn't. So that's why I used my phone to just update it really fast. Um, And yeah. Gonna show you guys my market prep. What I brought to the market. Um, also, it was just kind of like a week of me crocheting. Almost. Because my sister's birthday was also along the time beforehand so i had like clips beforehand um and do the market breakdown all that type of stuff um let me know if you like the market prep portion of it i like watching market preps myself i like seeing what people bring um i also did like a mock setup almost was it like a full one but yeah let me know if you like that type of stuff because I'm planning to make more videos of me market prepping. Um, just longer, extensive videos because I like watching longer videos. Um, and yeah, if you miss me, I can comment like a blue heart down below. And yeah, so to me, chatting away, let's just get right to the video. I'll, I'll include dates and all of that. new angle whoa but anyways um look look how cute anyways this is for my sister um her birthday is today and i finished it last night um this is not a pattern yet i mean i did write it down but i still have to figure out what i want to do i was gonna make a low sew version of this but i kind of don't want to no more i liked sewing it on so what she looks like i haven't been really market prepping like that um i started this last night my friend picked out the colors um he picked out another set of colors which i'm going to try out right now and try to finish it before he gets back from work so hi guys um i don't know when was the last time i record i don't remember but this penguin that you saw yeah i gave it to my sister for her birthday which was yesterday Today is April 20th. Um, I just got back home. Well, now it's like April 21st because it's midnight. But I just got back home from taking my sister out. Um, I did this the night before, I think. And I also did this as well. And I did like two chicken bodies. Um... Also for this event, one of the events coming up on April 28th. So they did have like, they have like a Google map <laughs> of where everything is at. But it's basically like a first come first serve type of thing. And setup is from 7.30 a.m. to like 9 something. And it's like an hour a little over an hour away and especially if it's first come first serve and i definitely don't know if there's other crocheters we have to be here like mad early 
And it's crazy too, cause there's like events. I think there's like one event. Like I went there, I think like 10 minutes. I showed up 10 minutes later and there was already people inside. I guess they just be parking and waiting. I never like done that before. So I, already, I totally forgot to show you. I made like this um bee. Hopefully he's upright. I think so. He don't got wings, but I bought this display on Facebook. It came in, but I just haven't checked it yet. And someone asked to commission me like an orange penguin, like an orange fruit penguin. I'm going to call him Orlando. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to call him Ollie, the orange penguin, I guess. Um, They asked me to like, they're like, oh, just let me know whenever you start so I can send them money. I'm not going to start now because I'm trying to like market prep. I already just got out the mood to like making the pattern which I already wrote down um and all that stuff but yeah I made these cows because I've been seeing market prep videos of everyone making not like this exact cow but this is a cow that popped up I didn't add her horns I don't know if I'm gonna do that but th these people be having cows right and I'm like I want to make one I do so yeah and I just remembered that I have an event that same week. It's on May 4th and I'm at like this barn again. And I still have to make a horse. Like I at least want to make one. If that horse don't sell, I'm going to be kind of, I'm going to be kind of upset. But that's okay. But this one coming up, um, it's like at this like middle school color run type stuff. Um, I'm about to try this pattern. It's like a little fish pattern from all from Jade. Usually me and fish patterns don't work out well. It's because I'm only thinking of this one person that I tried to make a fish pattern for. And I tried like two, three times. It did not work out. So I just gave up. And we're just going to see how it goes. Not necessarily going to make it. I'm not going to make it $5. Because I told myself not to make anything that's $5. But it's like, you know, like, you just don't know there's other crocheters that you just gotta, like, expect because it's, like, a competition in a way. Um, which, you know, I want everyone to succeed, all that type of stuff. But, like, if we're in the same event, of course we want our stuff to sell. I'd rather it's you, me, all that type of stuff. We want to support, but eh, when it comes to, like, people, we want our stuff. Damn. We want our stuff to sell. Um, especially me, because I do this full time, so it's just like, yeah, I really want to. Um, I think depending on how I like this pattern, hopefully I like it. I might try to make it a little bigger and sell it for like $6. I don't know. I'm kind of pushing at the, pushing at the edge just a little bit to like $5. I just don't want like my $5 stuff to, you know, make my stuff feel like make my other stuff that I like making overshadowed and that's what happened before so we'll see oh shoot hey I almost forgot um I don't I forgot what today it is but um I made some stuff over there I'll show later but I got commissioned this orange version of him um well it's an orange of the um my penguin um pattern, which is not out yet. I'm still kind of a little ugly, but I'm still working on it. I made a lemon one for like my sister's um birthday gift, and I post pictures. And then someone was like, "Can I like commission an orange?" I said, "Sure." So this is how he turned out. Um, turned out cute, and I'm shipping him out today. So yeah. You ever hope that it rains on your event? I have a rain date. But I don't know why for some reason it's not going to rain this week. Even though I want it to rain this week because I am severely underprepared. But we're, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hi. I'm standing up because my hand is cramped and taking a short little break. But um, I just bought a new tote earlier. Oh, today is, it's Tuesday, 
it's like 4 50 a.m into tuesday so yeah i got a new tote because i have three totes that's full with stuff one of them just mainly has like displays and like two big plushies in there but i bought a new one and this is the stuff so far um i just finished that um squid that um what is that what is that down there uh, uh octa um what whatever that thing is down there um i finished this i started it like last night um but yeah i did that and just finished this one and working on the other one right now i have a little fishy right here to i finished this last night i don't know if i ever showed this but this is like a little keychain um i don't feel like grabbing a mic so i hope you can hear me properly but i have like this unfinished b i free handed this so i'm just gonna make the wings for it um prior to me um but i accidentally exit the clip um i'm just gonna shorten what i said um i basically have an event the uh, following weekend I'm going back to this barn, which is where I went to the first time for like three days. Oh, three markets in one week. Um, I'm gonna try to make a horse in the midst of this, but I don't think I will. Basically, after this like market on Sunday, I pretty much have to like start straight away. Um, I feel like I am severely underprepared. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna sell to me stuff. I don't know if there's other crocheters. It's like this color run type of thing. It's at like a school. And you know how like if you go to markets, they'll tell you where to go and stuff like that. I only had like one market, which is the bar and one where it was like, oh, you pick out where you want to be first comfort serve. This is the second market. This color run is first come, first serve. And I'm like, that's great. It's already an hour away and set up this from like 7 30 to like 9. So me and my friend have to wake up like around like 5 in the morning to like get there. But some people be like at those like events like super early. I don't think we're gonna get there super early, but hopefully early enough. Also, if you haven't seen my um uh, Instagram story i started making these little like emmy sticks this dude's been a work in progress for like a couple days now he just got so many things to crochet and i don't know i'll do that eventually but um i made some more look how cute they are wait wait hopefully you can see them look how cute they are um, I grabbed the wrong um, knitting needles. They're short as ever, so I'm only use these for like smaller projects. But I'm planning to make some more because these are cute, and I want to start selling them. So if you want one, let me know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know in the last clip I showed you like a glimpse of like things that I made, but here's this cow. Um, I made two cows. They don't got horns because I didn't, I didn't feel like it. My friend actually choose, chose the colors for both of these. He keeps suggesting this one so many goddamn times and I finally did it. I sewed up all of these dinos. I literally bought Sweet Snow Was Light purple to make a purple one. Hopefully I make a purple one this week. Because I don't think anyone's going to buy this. I don't think so. Nobody buys yellow things. I don't even know why I made yellow. But I did. Two jellyfish. This one looks messed up because I was watching a tutorial and didn't really pay attention to it. Usually tutorials, I just skip it until I see like the written patterns. I never like really look at. I don't listen. That's pretty much it. But I made both of them. You know, 
thought it was cute. I should have added like white, but my friend said no. And I made a squid just earlier today. Um, should have added blush. Maybe I'll go back and add blush. And then I just finished this little mushroom topper thingy. Um, yeah, don't ask me about prices. <laughs> don't, don't ask me. Um, at least for like the smaller ones I just made, I don't know prices. I'm not going to be thinking about prices till the night before the event. Um, later today, I want to do a mock setup because I did get some new displays. That kind of depends when my friend gets off work. I don't know, I've just been in the mood to do like a mock setup early. So... You might see a clip of what everything will look like. Not fully done yet, but um, it'll, it'll get there. It get there. Everything in this bin, which is not a lot, um, besides the dinos. Well, the way that I'm making these dinos now, they are technically new, but like they're not really. Everything else is new. Always add some like new things to your um table because they they will sell and nothing wrong with adding new things but i'm gonna go back crocheting the other one of this i'm timing myself right now i'm like almost at like 10 minutes that's just this and it's like row row nine and i think that's like 25 rows i think yeah 25 rows so pretty close that should probably give you an idea how fast or slow I crochet sometimes I crochet slow if I'm like tired or just distracted but I think I'm like in the middle on how fast I crochet so I'll come back with um the mock setup and all of that so I just finished ignore all this yarn um here he is I don't want you to see my face but I think I messed up his blush, but yeah, the, the kids are going to eat this up. I remember I made two for like my very first um market and my friend, he was like, because there were some people that was looking at it like, oh my God, they look so cute. And you know, it was my first time not like actually talking to people. I worked at jobs where I was forced to talk to people, but at like a market you know i am my own person i am like my own boss so it's just like girl you have to talk because i don't even like people like that and i just have i just suck at talking and i get awkward really fast they have like social anxiety whatever and i didn't really know how to like you know talk and all that stuff i still kind of don't but i say a lot more now than before but my friend was like oh you should show them that you know it pops and do all that and i did I showed them and these two girls they bought it immediately so decided to make them have a comeback because every time I thought about making them before I would just always be like I don't want to make them I don't know why I think it's because I use like I use thicker yarn and like a really big hook size at the time like I used like eight or sweet snuggles maybe that's why I didn't want to make it but I made it with this and it took me like 30 minutes. I'm going to round up to 35 because I stopped the timer when um I was stuffing it and putting the blush on. So, it took me like 35 minutes and the pattern says it's low so. I saw you all eh, add the little leaf to it, but I don't feel like it. So, in the bin, that it goes. But I'm going to call it a night because the back part of, like, my neck starts to hurt. Despite me taking some breaks and stuff, I think just after a while, it'll just start hurting. Um, Maybe I'll get back up and crochet. I don't know, but. Yeah, so this is the mock setup so far. I know you're like, why is there one table? Well, we already have to drive, you know, early. We're going to have two and a half hours to set up. So that's when I'll do, like, my full, full setup. I have a table right here, another table over there. That's gonna be where keychains are at, but this is what it looks like so far.
<laughs> and that turtle is not gonna be there. It's gonna be something else. I'm about to show your face just because you did that. <laughs> Hi guys. So you saw in the last clip that's my mock setup. Twenty five percent of the way. I have like two and a half hours to set up at the event since we're gonna try to get there early because it's like first come first serve. So I will have like enough time then to um figure out what I want. I like I have an idea but it's not fully here yet. But today is Thursday. Um I don't have enough time. <laughs> I don't. Um I'm just gonna show you some things that I have. I don't think I'm I made stuff but excuse me not from last time. I'm using the front camera on my phone. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Oops. So I just finished making this. I don't this took me a lot longer than I thought. Um I made another one of him. And that's really it. I'm in the middle of making another turtle. So yeah. I hope this looks fine. If you have like an iPhone, there's like fucking three different cameras. Anyways, I finally finished him um he's been a whip for like a couple days because a thing about me is i don't mind sewing i actually kind of like sewing it's like a little therapeutic thing after crocheting a bunch but it's when a project has a lot of pieces to crochet that's what overwhelms me like and i didn't even crochet one of the parts to it but yeah I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't feel like holding the camera no more. Hopefully this gets me as best as I can. If not, then whatever. I don't even Yeah. So it's Thursday, turning into Friday. My event is on Sunday. Um still have a lot of stuff to make. <laughs> but that's for later today and I'm staying up Saturday into Sunday anyway. So but yeah, I just finished him. I finished them earlier. Um, like I said, you know, I like sewing. It's so shocking because most most people in Emmy Groomy they don't like sewing. And I used to be like that too. Like when I first started, I didn't like sewing. But I eventually had to like learn how to sew, especially when it came to like sewing a head and a body. I just did not like it at all like my head will always turn like that way <laughs> and stuff like that and um other parts wouldn't be like symmetrical like something would be all the way back it still kind of does that now but I learned um when you're like sewing I guess if you see something that's like you know not even try to turn it where you want it to be even and just sew it on that way I don't know how to describe it but it's been working with me and um, I made like these little Emmy sticks, I think I showed them before, and I stick them onto the little head and the limbs and all that type of stuff to sew it on so it's still secure, but he's done. Um, he's gonna be 60, I know, for like this size and all that stuff, but he did take time, I don't know how long, but sewing all of this on... And I kind of want to keep it for myself unless I make like another one in like this pink. But I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. And I kind of don't want to make it afterwards. So this is just mine for keep. I don't I just price them up higher because yeah. Um, now I'm going to work on this seahorse pattern. Should let me show you. I applied to the pattern, yeah, pattern test before for it, but I didn't get in. I was kind of sad because I really, 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 really wanted to get in. That's okay. Um, let me find it. I'm also planning to make um a Highland cow too. I use this pattern. And I think 
the Highland Cow and the Seahorse is going to be like the last um, medium big thing that I'm going to be making. Um, here's a seahorse pattern. Okay, let's. This, um, I saw that she used Sweet Snuggles Light and also another one of Sweet Snuggles. But I think I might just use Sweet Snuggles Light. I don't know what color though. I'll probably just end up making it like light blue. Stuff like that. I think that would be cute. So, yeah. I mean, I, I said that that was supposed to be the last one. Depending how much time I have left, I was going to make um, a strawberry snail. I made one before and it sold at the mall. I have a blueberry one right now, but it's not getting. Um, and I brought it to my last event and it didn't really get that much attention. Probably heard like a couple people say it, but I don't know. Let's see. But that's on the agenda for tonight. And my going to finish these. I hope so. It's right now, it's about to turn 4 30 a.m. Um let's just see. Really, so all right, take three. Um you can see so much fluff on me, but it's 6 43 a.m. and I just finished him. Look how cute he is. This ended up being like a good size because I didn't want him to be too big. But he's also not like too small. And I'm going to price him at 35. Um, he has so much fluff on him. But he honestly did not take me that long like I thought it would be. The only thing I struggled was with like the little fins. And I tried to follow the steps as best as I could. But I just kind of did whatever made sense. Honestly, this was my first attempt and I forgot what I did. So the second one looks kind of wonky. But it's okay. It's not like too bad. So yeah, finish this. I'm going to go lay down for a bit because my back is starting to hurt. And um, I'm just going to rest and make a cow when I feel better. But oh my god, he's so cute. He's just so adorable. I'm sorry if the video quality keeps changing because I keep switching from Snapchat to the camera on iPhone, all that type of stuff. Also, ignore all of this. Why? It's just it's just a mess right here. My friends got coke. He left he left this here too. Anyways, um, how cute he is. Um, so now there's two projects for the markets that I want to keep for myself. <laughs> um, I notice. But like sometimes whenever I buy a pattern straight away and I try it, it never turns out looking good. But what I noticed with like that pattern in this one, I had it sitting in like my library for like a while, maybe like like several days to like a week, and then I finally decided to like make them and they turn out so cute. I don't know if I should just let patterns just sit there. Something went off with the Wi-Fi. I'm using my friend's hotspot because the actual Wi-Fi is not working. But, um, yeah, I guess I let, I think I should just let the pattern, you know, sit there for a while. And I'd be reading the pattern. Like, I noticed with both of them, I actually kind of read it. Not, like, fully, but, like, I actually read, like, a bit of it. So, it, I'm just... He's just so cute. I I can't keep him. I can't keep him. I can't keep him. I grew to attach, so I made another one. But I'm not gonna add blush to him because I don't want to get them confused. But they are different in a way. As you can tell, I did like the spikes. Like I like the spikes on this one more, but the fins i like this one more and i stuffed more in this one and not in this one so he can like sit flatter because he sits better than this one um he is much heavier than this one <laughs> so yeah and i sell it in the price this is gonna be um 34 i'm gonna like this pattern below i really like this pattern it's not hard um if you don't like sewing 
I don't know what to tell you because I like sewing. You know, this this pattern is like a nine and a half for me. I just trip up with these fins. Um, but for someone who went from sewing like 13, like 17 pieces to like just four, then and you look at like crochet these on, I think it's perfect. Um, sewing's never the issue. It's just crocheting all of those pieces be intimidating for me. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that already. If I sound like a broken robot, it is what it is. But I wrote down, I'm going to put him in a bin. But yeah, he is. I thought I grabbed the wrong one. I was going to cry. His name's Harold. <laughs> but um, I wrote down a list on my phone. But I'm using my phone to record. This is my list. I'm telling you right now, did not follow the list whatsoever. <laughs> it might be flipped. But I just finished the seahorse. Now I'm going to make a Highland cow. I'm probably not going to update as I go along because I'm kind of on a time crunch. Um, I kind of don't want to stay up Saturday to Sunday because we already have to leave at like 6 a.m. And we're going to be out to like 6 p.m. Because the event ends at 4. But it's like an hour away. So. Yeah. But this is my list so far. Maybe I'll flip myself so that you can. I'm not even going to bother trying the list because I didn't even do it. So I hope you guys so far like this video. This is going to be a very really long video because I think by the time I will upload, I had it uploaded within like two, maybe like a month and a half to two months. And I was like, you know what? Let me just show um my last minute week of week and a half of market prep along with the market and recap hopefully you like it i'm not gonna make a lot of videos like this because this is gonna be a long one so yeah i'm just gonna go my setup I kind of like myself it's kind of cute I never had like three tables before so I was kind of struggling but I kind of like it I think I'll get better eventually but um I made my first sale before it even started I sold um a squid and I didn't know the price because I forgot to figure out price for it it was between two prices and I ended up um picking um the second one but it sold um yeah i don't know if you saw the clips but it was raining earlier it's not raining now but it's back being cloudy and i'm scared that it might rain because some of my plushies are kind of wet but like they dried really fast so yeah also uh, it rained earlier like multiple times like it'll rain lightly and then really hard and then it will stop again um but i don't know if people would come out i have i have no idea um yeah i don't know oh that list by the way i didn't finish that whole list because of course my stomach started hurting it was something i ate which i now learned i can't really eat chicken like that at least like not like fast food chicken because it always like messes up my stomach because that's what happened <laughs> I, I saw my friend driving by because the parking lot's over there you have to get out that way but um yeah chicken i guess just kind of hurts my stomach like and i didn't feel well i just took a nap and i could i couldn't do anything else i just finished up what I had high priorities for and it is what it is so we're gonna see how today goes it's 9 48 I think I made a sale at like 9 20 something and it doesn't start till like 10 and it ends at 4 
so yeah I also forgot to mention I am the only crocheter so I hope it does really good today uh, my braids are such a hot mess right now so hi I'm back again um so far I think I brought like two new things there's like a third one but it's not technically new because I made it before but I made two new things well one I made before too but I just made it smaller um anyways two new things and they already sold so I knew it. Anyways, um, hi, so the market end. I don't know if you guys could hear me. Whatever, I don't care. I'm just gonna say it again. Um, you see I'm wearing a blue shirt. Blue shirt. Came over there earlier. Anyways, the market ended. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. And I'll talk about how I did some other day. All right, so as you guys can tell, I had like a new setup. Um, I incorporated three tables. It was something new. I always wanted to do three tables, but I was waiting to like a later event to do that. But I decided to do it earlier since I was adding in new things. Um, I didn't know till like closer to the date that they only allow one types of vendors. Um, I just kind of went in it thinking that there was another crocheter, but I was the only one, so that was good. Um, now, um, you saw the before and after. Now, is there any like memorable moments? It was it was super super duper hot, like it was super hot. Uh, it was raining a bit earlier while we were setting up. I didn't even set up to like last minute because it was raining and I didn't want my stuff to get wet um and it was kind of dead to like later in the afternoons um yeah I think most of the memorable part memorable parts was certain sales I made so we're just gonna get right into it since that's all we're here for. <laughs> Alright. So. Um, these times are probably not accurate. I don't know. I'm not going to explain times. But my first transaction before the event started. Was, was a squid. I'm going to put pictures here. If I have it. Or probably take screenshots of. Um, my prep. But my very first transaction. That was 30 minutes before the event started. I didn't put it in until like way later. It was a squid. And I sold it for $14. My second transaction was this mushroom pop and a keychain. Um, the mushroom pop was $12. And the keychain was $8. Totaling to $20. My next transaction was this brown chicken. I had. It was my last one. And he was for $15. Um, next transaction was two items. Someone bought uh, a sitting cow for $24 and an axolotl for $18, that totaling to $42. Next sale was two items. Uh, it was an $8 keychain and a $15 peep. Um, that was like the last peep I had, um, that totaling to $23. Um, and someone came over and bought Polyroll. Um, he actually had me hold it off to the side and he came back later and paid for him. It's made me happy. Uh, I'm going to link all these patterns down below, by the way. Polyroll is my pattern. <laughs> um, and I sold him for 40, yeah, $40. Um, next transaction was Tofu the Turtle and I priced it at... Twelve dollars. Um, yeah. Next transaction was a jellyfish. Um, that one was twenty five dollars. 
Next transaction was a duck, one of, like those ducks with like the frog hats. Um, I priced those for ten dollars. Next transaction, I think this was one of the biggest transactions. Uh, this person bought three things. They bought a jellyfish that was twenty five dollars. My gingerbread man that was on clearance for twenty five dollars, and a penguin that was thirty five dollars, and all of that was eighty five dollars. I was really happy that the gingerbread man finally sold um the family they had like three kids and this little boy grabbed in your red man and was just holding him i made me so happy um i sold one of the aliens for twelve dollars and i'm not planning to make more ever again <laughs> and then i sold totoro for thirty dollars um yeah <laughs> Next transaction was two items. Um, I sold a dino for $25 and I sold a duck, frog, duck hat for $10 for a total of being $35. I sold um, my small bee, my no so bee, for $10. I sold a hamster, like the sad, I'm just a girl hamster. For $14. I sold another mushroom pop. I think that was the last one I had. For $12. Um, this is. Three items. Um, I sold my strawberry turtle. For $40. Literally I just ran out of storage on my phone. <laughs> and I got start all the way back. It's crazy. Um. What I was saying was, this is a three item transaction. I'm gonna try to speed run this. The strawberry turtle was $40, seahorse was $35, and the keychain was $8, totally to $83. I think mean, that was my second big purchase. Um, right after that, I sold a turtle for $12, baby dino for $12, aliens for $12. That was the last bit of my aliens. Um, I sold those little flockers that come in the bird pack. I sold this one specifically for $12. Um, I sold a duck with a frog hat for $10. A baby chick for $10. Turtle for $12. Pop tart for $15. I know that one was in Venmo. Um, and my last transaction for the day while I was packing up was a baby dino that was $12. Um, like I said, this was my first school event. Um, I really liked it. It was cool. I really like how they try to only have one vendor per type. It makes me really happy, especially that I do this full time. Um, I don't know everyone else's situations, but at least for what I see on YouTube, people kind of do it as like a part time thing or like a side hustle while they have a full time job. And I'm just like, oh, this is my thing full time. So, yeah. Anyways, to by sales i made 26 sales and sold 34 items i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but i came to this event with 74 items normally i make around 60 but this time i made 74 which i was really proud of myself um so i left with 40 items for the end of the day um before um all the fees and all that i made 589 which so far being um, a one day event that is the most I have made so far. I was $11 away from $600. They made me like really, really happy. Um, now 55% of it was cash. Um, I know some transactions was Venmo, so I'm gonna put on the side how much did I make in Venmo. I just don't feel like doing that right now. Um, but in cash and Venmo together was $322. 45% of it was card, which was $2.67. Now with the fees, they're $7.74 in square, $40 to be there, and I had to take out $50 for um, another event that I went to. Um, so this is my grand total by every day. Um not much to say like i really like being there it was extremely hot um the people was like really nice all that stuff um 
I met my old boss, which was funny. Uh, that's that's really it. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you like seeing me market prep. I don't know how to make it more interesting. Like, I just show you guys what I've been making, all that type of stuff. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Also, I am making another video after this talking about another event that I just went to on Saturday. So you see my same setup, all that. Don't pay attention to it. Anyways, bye. <laughs> Thank you.